So I'm going to start with the back here. Um, I pack it in a way that I can access things in the order I want to access them. So, you know, basically with my sleeping stuff, this gets strapped to the bike in the morning when I break camp. It typically doesn't get touched again to the end of the day. The uh, stuff on the back here, my seat bag, is a little bit different. <laughs> so this is pretty much the whole thing. It's basically just a stuff sack like you would have with a sleeping bag. It's just designed to fit on a bike. It's a roll top bag, you know, so I, I just roll it down and then it buckles to itself and compresses. Um, so obviously the less stuff, the less bulky it is. But it does expand quite a bit. So the stuff I keep in here, like again in terms of access, are the first thing is my rain jacket. Uh, the next thing is some waterproof socks, because that's I'm pretty light. I you know. Care about some of yeah. <laughs> I don't carry shoe covers or anything like that. And the next thing is my down jacket, a puffy jacket. Um, the idea being, as soon as I get to camp, especially if it's cold, I want to pull this out and start wearing it so that I don't lose any body heat, you know, depending on where I am. And then when I get to camp, I can put some pants on. But these are actually my rain pants that are just knickers. So if it's raining out, this is what I put on when I'm pedaling, or when I get to camp, I can change out of my riding gear. I'm typically wearing a standard uh, bib, jersey, wool base layer, so I'll take my jersey off, stay in my wool base layer because it's pretty warm, it dries really fast. Best thing about wool is it doesn't stink. So on a multi-day trip, you don't have to worry about being as offensive to people. So I can climb into these, and these are basically my camp pants. Um, and uh, you know, a big part of it is using things that you can use in multiple, for, or for two different things, right? So these are my camp pants when it's dry. These are my rain pants when I'm riding or when I'm cold. Um, you know, everything I want to do double duty. Uh, my rain jacket is a uh, not a cycling specific jacket. It's just a solid rain jacket that no matter what I can pull it out and use it. My cook kit. I think this is what everyone wants. To yeah. Do. So this is it. This is my everything I use to cook in, and this thing I rarely bring with me, anyways. Yeah. This is when I'm traveling uh, luxuriously, I should say. So it's a titanium mug with a bunch of things inside, a cat food can stove. That's the stove right there, this little thing. So that's, that's it. This just runs off of uh, denatured alcohol. Um, 90%? Uh, whatever store bought. 70 and 90. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever denatured alcohol I bought is. Um, this one, I think, this stove cost me like a dollar fifty, something like that, plus the hole punches that I had at home. It took about ten minutes to make. Definitely, you have to use this on a solid surface for sure. So basically, this goes on the ground. The cup, I pour the fuel inside there, light it. Be careful because it's invisible for sure. So you got to know that it's lit. Um, and then I set the cup on top, and that get, creates the pressure that creates the flame coming out of these jets. Essentially, these are huge jets. Oh, yeah. I do have it. This is the windscreen. This is all homemade stuff, so that's uh, why it doesn't look so flashy. Uh, this is the windscreen. It's just aluminum foil. So just encircle it. It's folded over a couple times. It's kind of hard to see, but it's folded over a couple times here along one edge to give it a little bit more body. Right. 